I'm here to share with you information about my role as session co-chair and faculty in the World Congress of Pediatric Cardiology and Cardiac Surgery. The Congress had over 5,000 attendees, and it was wonderful meeting and interacting with several colleagues from around the world. I was involved as co-chair in two imaging tracks and also was the co-chair of a special dinner symposium. The tracks were multimodality imaging and multidimensional anatomy lab. The multimodality imaging track focused on six clinical conditions where cross-sectional imaging is most useful in congenital heart disease. Those six are aortic coarctation, tetralogy of fellow, single ventricle, transpositions, valvular heart disease, and coronary arteries. The multidimensional anatomy lab is a track that Dr. Justin Tretter and I put together as co-chairs. The lab showcased all the newest imaging technology and included vintage heart specimens from the largest registries. There were two series of lectures in the lab. First, a cardiac anatomy lecture series with heart specimen demonstration, image correlation, and virtual reality experience. The second, an advanced simulation imaging series discussing how to incorporate new technology into our clinical programs. In addition, Johns Hopkins Children's Center and Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital jointly organized a dinner symposium on August 29th. The symposium focused on pulmonary vasculature. Dr. Mike Pachalski and I were co-chairs and Dr. Severett, Manu, Thompson and Quinta Sensor were the speakers. The symposium helped attendees understand how cross-sectional imaging and the surgical theater can aid treatment planning, how contemporary blood biomarkers are used for clinical phenotyping and how artificial intelligence methods can help diagnose and treat pulmonary hypertension. Our Heart Center presented several abstracts at the Congress. Finally, I moderated four sessions and delivered two lectures. The first was on ways of assessing ventricular function in adults with congenital heart disease beyond ejection fraction, and the second lecture on multimodality assessment of transposition of great arteries. The World Congress of Pediatric Cardiology and Cardiac Surgery was an exceptional educational opportunity. I'm very excited for our heart program having a strong representation at the Congress and for all my colleagues at Johns Hopkins Medicine who spoke, presented, and contributed. Thank you.